So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185-pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago. But he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, presenting the challenger, Jack the Joker Hermansson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last day of Bender, UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they can. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Nice, there you go. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Good punch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And they separate. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Adesanya. Single collar tie now. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Nice punch there by Adesanya. A oh, little single collar tie there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Punch coming, it's blocked. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, going back to the uppercut, well, nearly connected. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this round. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, boy, Israel out of Sonya. I don't even know what that was, but it certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think would be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. He blocks the shot. Slips the left hand. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You can tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there, just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, spinning back fist. Back and forth we go. Oh, swelling and blood. Yeah. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. That was awesome, okay? You really hurt him there. You knocked him down, he's almost ready to go, okay? This round, I want him out of there. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. All right, round two. Punch is blocked. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. Oh! Dude's hurt. Wow! Oh! 
Israel Adesanya goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Missed with that right hand. Ooh, big shot, man. Blocks the shot. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. And they separate. Oh, single collar tie here. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage if you can hit him in the body that clean. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Nice straight right lance. Flips that left hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Let's get going Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Got the single collar tie. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. The center line slips the punch. Nice, there we go. Keep moving, keep moving. You got him on a roll. And he landed the right hand there. He blocks the punch. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Adesanya. Pretty good right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Slips to avoid that left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Oh! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He might be out. Oh! Oh, nice jab. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Muay Thai plump. That's a big strike right there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Are you ready? You ready? 
and here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. I mean, that right hand landed square. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Right punches there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Left hand punch from the clinch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs... strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice punch lands. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Sound strike on the ground. Lands with the right hand. All right, has the guard closed here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. All right, side control now. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right? It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hand with both hands and try to peel the lock oh! so you can get to your feet. This dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. They continue to exchange. Oh, my goodness. Man, that cut has really opened up. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice jab by Adesanya. Wow! Seconds winding down in round three. Oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. Oh, big left hook there. And what a round! 
right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays, and if you like face punching, that was a good round for Yeah, you. where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean up. Oh! Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big elbow there. Whoa! Oh! Huge right hand! That's how you finish your fight. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles. Oh! In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Ready for the official decision, Bruce.